Few things compared to the moments before a baseball game. What will happen? Could we witness greatness today? It's been decades since that anticipation was felt here. But today, that feeling returns to Hinchliffe Stadium. This is the real field of dreams. In a ceremony as star-studded as the flag that waved above, Patterson cuts the ribbon on the newly renovated Hinchliffe Stadium. Hinchliffe Stadium! Yes! This is a time for New Jerseyans to, to have some pride. I mean, we did this in Jersey. We did this in Patterson. One of two stadiums left standing that were home to Negro League Baseball, Hinchliffe had grown into disrepair since it was abandoned in 1997. On Friday, to much pomp and circumstance, it began its new life, a moment Pattersonians, celebrities, and former athletes alike wanted to be part of. This is the kind of monument I would like to see more of, because it's a monument to us as human beings and to us as Americans, because we're all part of the same party. I'm the youngest of eight kids, single parent family, grew up on welfare. I'm not supposed to be here. The odds say no. But I'm telling you right now, vision, purpose, and understanding is why I'm here today. And that's why Henslip is so important to me. And it's only fitting that this part of the stadium will turn into a museum run by Montclair State University and named after Charles Muth. It'll focus on the history of the Negro Leagues and the players who broke the color barrier. This leveled the playing field. This was a game changer, this stadium, and we have to bring it back, and we have. Forever a place of honor, the stadium will be home now to the minor league New Jersey Jackals and the thousands of children in Patterson. As eloquently put by James Earl Jones in the movie Field of Dreams, this game reminds us of all that was once good and could be again. In Patterson, Jim Vassell, Pix 11 News.